Hello everybody and welcome. We'll be talking about the method carbon fiber edition, what that is, what are the specs, what's the material, how do you use it. The carbon fiber edition is basically, it's either the method or the method X carbon fiber edition and what that gets you, that's extruder 1C. Extruder 1C is the one that actually allows you to print with nylon carbon fiber. The main difference between the regular extruder, so this would be like the model 1 extruder, what comes standard with the method printer is that the 1C extruder has a hardened steel nozzle and it also has some differences in the internal components, specifically the gears. Some of the original gears in the extruder one are brass and those are fine to work with softer plastics like ABS, nylon, uh, EG. However, as soon as you start using carbon fiber, the material is really abrasive, so much so that sometimes even just a little bit of stringing can get into your finger and, and like literally cut you, like it, it has that strength. That same 1C extruder can also work with the regular method. You're not only able to print with uh, soluble supports with the Method X, but also with the regular method. So you can either use PVA or what you guys see here, you can print it with SR30 uh, soluble supports. What that means is that both Method and Method X are compatible with this uh, new material. SR30 tends to be a little bit more stable, so that's why we're recommending SR30 with it. There's three different ways to create supports for carbon fiber. There's either Breakaway, which is what I use for this uh, version. There's SR30 supports, which is what you would use with the Method X version. And PVA supports as well, which are just literally water soluble. Uh, which is what you would get with the regular method uh, carbon fiber edition. So first of all, it comes with the same um, circulating heated chamber that both method and method X has. The carbon fiber edition stems from both the method and the method X. That means that with the regular method uh, carbon fiber edition, you will be getting up to 60 degrees uh, Celsius in the chamber. So that's pretty hot. But with the Method X, now you're able to get 110 uh, degrees Celsius. And that's not just the build plate, right? You get that 110 uh, degrees Celsius in the whole print environment. That's crazy. But with the Method Carbon Fiber Edition and with the extruder, the 1C extruder, the gears inside of the extruder are uh, steel. So they, they will withstand way more pressure and, you know, roughness from the material. So you also have the, the dry seal material base, right? So the material is kept in here. Uh, pristine, moisture free, kind of super happy, uh, uh, different from most other printers that just have it to the side or elsewhere. We're also introducing the annealing feature on the Method Carbon Fiber Edition. After you wash the part, right, sometimes you'll get a little bit of water soaking in inside of the part and it's kind of hard to get it out of there. Since we have the heated chamber, you can actually go ahead and put the part in, back in, and use that annealing feature for two reasons. Reason one, you might want to just dry it up after you've been uh, washing the soluble supports. Reason two, however, might be because you just want to make sure that you know the layers are, again, happy, sort of evenly distributed with that heat. It's not going to melt apart, it's just going to warm it up enough to minimize the stresses and the different sort of issues that come with an anisotropic process such as 3D printing. It's also cloud connected, so you'll be able to monitor it through the webcam, through MakerBot Print. You will really be able to print not only with nylon carbon fiber, with the nylon carbon fiber edition, but with all of the rest of the method material. So you might want to use ABS, you might want to use PDA, you might want to use PETG, right? And all of the last materials as well. The method carbon fiber edition is a great way to get started if you want a dedicated printer for carbon fiber, but if you're also thinking about, hey, you know, I may want this to grow, I may want this to use as a bigger platform, it ultimately is part of the method family. So what that means is that you will have the heated chamber, you will have an open platform for you to test out other materials. So if you want to use our labs extruder and just run with it and throw a million different materials to the printer, you can do that. If you want to stick to the method materials and the makeup of materials, you can also do that. Uh, you can use soluble support, which is, I think it's a game changer. Soluble supports just guarantee that you will have access to that part, that the part will come out clean. And finally, being part of MakerBot ecosystem, you're able to export directly from SolidWorks, from Rhino, Fusion 360, a bunch of AutoCAD software, like directly to MakerBot Print and super easy. So this material is almost twice as strong as ABS and about 50% stronger than nylon. So this material is really, really good at withstanding higher temperatures, at making sure that your part actually 
behaves in the way that you, that you expect it. And ultimately, just doing that with this layer quality, with this photo right here that you guys are seeing, just speaks to itself. The parts coming out of the machine are just super smooth, super tidy. They can replace some of the more expensive metallic parts, such as aluminum. Having this around for your shop, for your studio, is just a great option. It's about the heated chamber. It's about the consistent temperature. That will give you just, in one word, clean parts. That's all you need.